I'm just going to preemptively ask for forgiveness from the Lord here, because I'm coming in raw and no rubber. I just need to vent. Go ahead and get your Bible out and get ready for some amens, because I'm ready to fucking preach. I just finished watching episode 6 of Promise Neverland season 2, and it is, without exaggeration, the most abominable, putrid pile of dog shit I've ever seen in an anime. Fair warning, there will be spoilers for this show, though I wouldn't recommend it to even my worst enemy, unless of course you only watch season 1 and pretend season 2 never happened. Season 1 of Promise Neverland is a damn near masterpiece. Season 2 is like it's been written by Tommy Wiseau overdosing on ketamine. It is bafflingly bad in every possible department. So as I mentioned in my moist meter, season 2 doesn't follow the manga. And in my eyes, that's not an unforgivable sin. I haven't read the manga, I don't really read manga, I'm too fucking cool for that. I'm an alpha chad that only likes the moving pictures and the shooty bangs and titties all over the place in my anime. So I don't really know anything in the manga. But from what I've read, season 2 has skipped everything in the manga, and I can absolutely feel that because the show is now devolved into like a story time for 4th graders. Uh, spoilers, again, I'm just gonna give you another fair warning. Norman comes back in episode 5, and in episode 6, it is spent in a circle where Norman just explains what happened in the manga, but never happened in the anime. So you never get to see any of this shit, and also, some things that happen in the manga just don't even exist in the anime, but anyway, Norman spends the entire time telling you about things that you never saw and never will see in the show. And it's like 10 minutes of just exposition diarrhea. This man is just vomiting facts all over the place, and it sounds like something a child would write. Oh, I was shipped off to this other facility, and I was experimented on, and then I met a guy named Shmi, and then Shmi died, and then I got some superpowers that make me like a super badass galactic emperor. Oh, and I created the ultimate weapon which can kill every demon in the world. Oh, and I'm gonna do this plan tomorrow. All of that happens in a single episode across like 10 straight minutes of exposition in a circle while everyone just looks on and cheers. You go, Norman. Yeehaw. It's so bad. It's so fucking bad. It breaks, like, the pivotal rule of storytelling when it comes to, like, movies and shows, where it's, hey, show, don't just tell. This is nothing but telling. This reads like some kind of fucking fan fiction being read out loud in front of a creative writing class. It's unbelievable that this is the direction this show has taken. And also, like I mentioned in my moist meter, the jump from episode 4 to 5 is so fucking in incredible. Episode 4 has them running away from somewhere, and episode 5 has it pick up a year later. Without telling you anything that's happened in between. It's just, oh, now it's a year later. Oh, and now they're scavenging for food over here. Oh, and now they meet Norman again, who now just spends 10 minutes letting them know that he's created the fucking nuclear demon device to fuck them all in the asshole. It's so fucking unreal. The show in season one, I thought was going to be one of the all-time greats. I thought Promise Neverland was on the right path to be like a staple in anime. A show that anyone could pick up and love because there was so much to like about it. Season 2, I don't know how anyone could possibly like it under any circumstances. Even if you were losing your virginity during an episode of Season 2 of this show, you would probably still feel gross and disgusted. you probably just tell them to just stop, get away. I need to turn the TV off first so I can get this garbage out of here. It is so unbelievably bad. It's insulting. It insults the viewer's intelligence by just... It breaking everything down for you in like this step-by-step -step wiki how of what happened that they never showed you and you couldn't possibly know because it didn't bother even going there. It's, it's so, so bad. And what's even more insulting is the fact that before episode 6 they did a special episode, which is a fucking recap of the show. Five episodes in, they recap it. They recap season one, which is okay, fine, but no one's watching season two without having watched season one in the first place. I don't know who that's for. It's not like someone's grandfather is just all of a sudden going to sit down and watch season two of this show and need to be caught up to speed. It was unnecessary. But then they still recap season two. You're five episodes in and you're recapping it. How unbelievably lazy and out of touch do you need to be to think that anyone wants to fucking see that? It's like if Mass Effect's 3 ending got butt-fucked by Neil Breen's visions. Like, his writing infiltrated it. It's already fucking terrible, and yet it somehow gets worse. Episode 6 is shockingly bad. It's unbelievable that they could actually put this out there and think anyone would enjoy it. N Norman shows up out of nowhere with a miracle drug that he pulled out of his fucking dickhole. With no explanation on what it is, how he got it, where he learned how to make it, 
why he has a fucking briefcase full of it out of nowhere, who these people are that he's traveling with in their relationship. There's no flashback, there's no explanation other than a single sentence to explain away all of these things, despite them being by far the most important things we've ever heard in the show. I swear, if you thought Game of Thrones Season 8 was horrible, which it absolutely was, you haven't experienced shit until you watch this season of Promise Neverland. Now, again, this is only episode 6, it's not over, so maybe in episode 7 they go through and explain everything thoroughly, though I highly doubt it, but even still, the fact that they dedicated a whole episode to nothing but an exposition fucking clusterfuck, where all they do is tell you things that happened without showing you anything, or really connecting anything, there's nothing you can do as a writer to fix that. There's really nothing they can do from this point forward to justify where this show is right now. They already skipped an entire year without showing you a goddamn thing. They skipped crucial plot elements from the manga, which I decided to read about just to get caught up to speed on what should be happening or what should have been explained or, or what should be going on. And, and the fact that it's all skipped, I have no fucking clue how they can even salvage the, the narrative here. I wouldn't be surprised if episode 7, it turns out Norman also created some kind of Geostorm device where he just sends the demon killer drug up through like a fucking laser tunnel teleportation device and just blasts it across the entire earth like some kind of apocalyptic meteor storm that kills all of the demons or something outlandish. Like at this point, they, it's, it's like they're not even trying. They're just throwing darts at a board and just putting in whatever the fuck it lands on with dialogue instead of anything else. It's like there's nothing even animated in this show. Across all of season two, I can't even think of like many times the characters are even like moving or doing anything. There's like four scenes across all six episodes that come to mind where they move a little bit and it all happens in the first episode. Like it's, it's bad. It's really bad. It's not even watching an anime. It's watching someone's PowerPoint where they're trying to pitch you on a show idea that they had, but they're not good at getting it across. It's bad. And I just wanted to vent about it because I'm really, really disappointed. Like, extremely fucking disappointed. I haven't done this since Game of Thrones Season 8, but man, this is horrible. I hate to see what they did with such a promising show. It's really awful. Uh, yeah, that that's about it. See ya.